Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK. If it's the first time you're passing through, welcome to my channel. You're also welcome to subscribe if you like the content. You're welcome to share if you feel the content might be um, useful for someone else. And you're also um, entitled to like if you like it and put the thumbs down if you don't. Um, for my existing subscribers, thank you for your support, your comments and everything else. Now today, um, we're going to talk about the compensation that um, Paulette Wilson is her name? Yeah, Paulette Wilson. She comes from Telford, Wolver, Wolver, well, she actually comes from Wolverhampton now. Um, she came from Jamaica um, to the UK when she was 10. And apparently she was uh, detained in a detention centre, even though she had been in the UK for over 50 years. Now, they're not saying why she was detained. I'm putting the link in, the news link, below they're not saying why she was detained but apparently she was detained suffered all kind of mental um, problems you can imagine what it's like for a woman let, you know let alone anyone else to be in that kind of situation those places are not nice there's a lot of racism there's a lot of bullying there's a lot of aggression there's a lot of abuse there's a lot of humiliation and that is what Paulette Wilson at her age a grandmother had to endure so as a result she's been compensated a hundred thousand a prop that's the figure that's being banded about a hundred thousand pounds i mean money can't compensate for trauma and regardless they have something called the stockholm um syndrome which gets you used to it but you just cannot get through that you cannot get through that so um, it's quite it's good news. Apparently, they've got uh, Reverend Desmond Jadou, J A D D O O. He's the chairman of the Windrush Movement UK. He's helping people make Windrush compensation claims. Apparently, secondary um, victims who suffer the knock-on effect could also be entitled to compensation. So just supposing um, you were related to Paulette Wilson, you lived with her, you were reliant on her to either look after you, or she was the one that was bringing in the income, or you've been traumatized because of her detention, whatever it is, you can actually, you are eligible to apply for compensation. And, you know, I'm only giving those kind of, um, those kind of things as an idea but that is what they mean by secondary victims do you remember with Grenfell Tower all those people and the secondary victims they were entitled to compensation we don't hear much about Grenfell Tower now come to think about it I wonder what's happening with that anyway the government is prepared to pay out two million in total um, it remains open, the compensation scheme remains open until April 2021. That's only a year or so away. So you need to get on board if you feel as though you've been a victim of injustice, you know someone who's been wrongfully detained, get solicitors on board. You'll be more than compensated for the price that you pay for the solicitors. But you have to believe that they've genuinely been wrongfully detained. Because you've got people who are wrongfully detained and they've got nobody backing them. And a lot of um, these solicitors these days, they will do it on a no, no, no win, no fee basis. So investigate it. Investigate whether or not you can get someone um, who will do that for you, who will intervene on your loved one's behalf if they've been wrongfully. Because, I mean... There's, I think they've been paying out quite a lot, the Home Office for Wrongful Detentions. I understand it's four million uh, between 2014 and 2015. It was between four and five million for every three years preceding that. And they're still paying out even now. And a lot of the time, it, it's being paid out because of the hostile environment policy. It's wrongfully targeting people. They've been using the NHS. They've been using landlords. They've been using banks. They've been using the um, driving um, license, DVLA, all types of people, um, landlords, rental agents, 
to try and get people who they believe are not legal in the country through a technicality and it's not working because a lot of these people are entitled to be in the country they are not illegal sometimes just because you're not documented doesn't mean that you're illegal i mean it's absolutely ridiculous just because you haven't got a piece of paper you're classified as illegal and you're detained wrongfully detained and what does it mean all it means is that you're forking out you're forking out thousands of dollars to people if you've done your job properly and investigated properly you would see that they should not lose their jobs they should not have been um, refused access to health care they shouldn't have lost their homes they shouldn't have been um, rejected from renting homes or buying homes just do your job properly and stop being biased. Immigration, a lot of people in immigration, a lot of the police are, are biased and they have perceptions of what, who is illegal. And it's not based on fact, it's based on ignorance. So these people need to educate themselves, take the bias out of their mindset, do their job properly. Stop relying on silly algorithms that are not that are not set properly to to correctly identify people. Of course, there's a lot of illegal immigrants around. We know that according to the figures, but it doesn't mean that everybody's an illegal immigrant and you just bump everybody in a detention center because you'll pay the penalty. There will be a point where there's going to be a lot of legal intervention and then it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. So do it properly. And I'm talking to the Home Office now. Um, I think that's all for now. Um, yeah.